Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this Monday afternoon, a little after 3.30. You can see the fog lingering along the coastline. This is the net result. Of course, our humidity levels have been very high. When you take very high, when you take very humid air and pass it over a cool surface like the ocean, the net result is this. But you just drive two, three miles away from the ocean and, and the fog is gone. So when we switch over to, you know, you go to Lincoln, clearly there's no fog in the northern part of the state, and you actually got a blend of both clouds and some sunshine. So it's more confined to the coastline, the fog. And that'll continue tonight through tomorrow morning. Uh, as of now, we're taping this as of 3.30. Really not much in the way of any widespread showers or thunder yet, but it's on the way for later tonight. In the meantime, temperatures as of the 3 o'clock, almost 4 o'clock hour, range from near 80 north and inland to the low to mid-70s right along the immediate shoreline. You see that um, humid sea breeze right in here keeping some of the fog along the south shore. Uh, threat tracker, uh, now, you know, next several hours now through 7, 8, 9 o'clock this evening. We're doing okay, but it's later tonight. Uh, looking at scattered showers, uh, a few strong to borderline severe thunderstorms possible. Not every community gets a thunderstorm, but the chances there along with dense coastal fog. Uh, for Tuesday, we'll keep things elevated on the alert for, well, for one, dense fog in the morning along the shoreline, scattered thunderstorms. We're thinking mostly during the morning, early morning. There'll be some dry periods as well. So locally, there's not much going on in terms of showers and thunder, but we widen out the view, and you can clearly see uh, strong storms and lightning, Hudson Valley of New York and out towards eastern Pennsylvania. And some of this headed our way later tonight. Now, if you trace the motion of the clouds and the precipitation, you can clearly see this counterclockwise swirl right in here. In fact, when we switch over to what we call a water vapor imagery, you can see that swirl even better right there at the center and what we call an upper level low. And quite simply, these are slow movers, so this will be approaching over the next several days. And it's sort of a mechanism each day to set off a scattered shower or thunderstorm. The tricky part of the forecast is trying to nail down the timing of any showers or thunder? Is it morning? Is it afternoon? Is it at night? I think this next opportunity for thunder and showers would be later this evening, overnight, and into very early on Tuesday morning. Now, as far as the risk of not just general thunderstorms, but severe thunderstorms, now through the overnight into early tomorrow morning, the higher risk is right out in here. In fact, severe weather's ongoing right in here. Our risk is, is considered marginal. So there's a scale as far as severe potential from one to five. Five being the highest, we're down in here. So there's a marginal risk uh, later this evening and overnight towards early daybreak tomorrow morning for some thunderstorms to be borderline severe. So we're going we're to watch the situation closely. In the meantime, uh, take a look at the forecast. Uh, here's 7 o'clock. Not much going on thunder-wise, but then notice how it really starts to light up as we get closer to midnight, one, two, three, this is three, four o'clock in the morning, some stronger storms coming through while we're sleeping. And even into early Tuesday morning, 7, 8 a.m., a leftover shower or, or downpour or thunderstorm. And then during the afternoon, we start to see some breaks in the overcast, partial sunshine, should boost temperatures up to about 75 to 80. Uh, we didn't rule out a shower or a thunderstorm during Tuesday afternoon, just think the better chance would be early in the morning. And then another area of showers and thunder trying to reorganize later on Tuesday night around 10, 11 o'clock. So bottom line, it's relatively quiet right now, but it, we'll keep an eye to the sky as we get closer to the midnight hour and overnight and pre-dawn while we're sleeping. And towards daybreak tomorrow, uh, the slightly higher chance of a, of a round of some strong thunderstorms coming through.